In the current state of the game, most players are striving to earn enough AUEC to purchase their first desired ship in game. We all have various ways of earning money in the game, but there's a short list of viable options to help you reach that goal in the shortest period of time. What I'd like to discuss today is why mining is by far the most viable option to earn money right now. Hey guys, it's phase one. So now before we discuss about mining, I'd like to quickly go over some of the other viable options when it comes to earning the most money in the shortest period of time. If you're new to this channel, I recommend subscribing for future Star Citizen content. Now the first option that I'd like to discuss is trading. So now trading is going to eventually be the most viable option when it comes to earning the most money in the shortest period of time. But right now due to the 30k error that seems to be affecting everybody, trading is not really viable right now. So what happens for those that don't know is when you first start trading, you need an initial investment. You need to put down your own money to purchase the commodity and then you need to deliver that commodity to the other station that wants to buy that commodity. So now when you purchase that commodity and you're on your way to deliver, what happens is server usually crashes, which causes you to lose not only your initial investment but also the profit that goes along with that so due to this trading right now is not viable so now the second viable option that i like to discuss when it comes to earning the most money in the shortest period of time is bounty hunting so now with bounty hunting it's little to no risk with no initial investment but the pve element feels grindy sometimes it takes me up to three missions plus call to arms to earn approximately 10k and sometimes the mission sends me across the solar system just to get one bounty right but when it comes to pvp now pvp is fun don't get me wrong you can make a pretty good money in a short period of time but sometimes you may not right sometimes you may run into a player that can pvp better than you that can potentially kill you instead of you kill them or you can run into a situation where you're fighting your bounty and somebody else shows up and third parties you and takes that bounty. So due to this, bounty hunting is not really a reliable source of income. The issues that we just discussed in regards to trading and bounty hunting is what led me to mining. So now just a couple of days ago, I decided to upgrade to a prospector. And I just wanted to test it out. I decided to just go for a quick mining run. Now, my, this mining run took me 20 minutes to, to go out, prospect, mine, and to get back to Port Alistar. And when I got back to Port Alistar, I ended up making 60K in 20 minutes. Now, that blew me away, right? But this was based on luck, simply due to the fact that I found the right ore at that time so i decided to do a couple more runs after that so now what happened was i noticed that i was averaging around 30k a trip so now when i compare that to trading for example i would have had to invest 60k for example on scrap and then make the trip to another location sell it to make that 30k profit but with trading, I'm risking it due to the crashes that comes with 30k errors. So that's one of the advantages that I noticed when it comes to mining is because there's no risk. I'm not making any initial investments. Right? So that's one of the great things when it comes to mining. So now another great thing that I noticed when it comes to mining is when I was mining, one time I got tired, I decided, you know what, I wanted to log off. So I decided to land my, my prospector on a moon and um, log off for the night. I came back later on. I logged back in. I woke up back on the prospector and I noticed that my cargo hold was still filled with the ore that I mined earlier. So which is just one of the most amazing things that I've seen in the game so far that the fact that they're persisting the cargo hold on the prospector. So that's another advantage of why mining is so viable right now.
so now i haven't even talked about quantanium yet quantanium i haven't found quantanium yet and i'm hearing some players are able to make 100k more actually huge amounts of money actually more than 100k i'm hearing some 200k 300k in some runs and you know once i get enough experience and i learn how to find it and things like that it's it's gonna make my income earning potential so much so much better to conclude i recommend new and veteran players to invest in a prospector whether you're upgrading to it or you're renting it if you're upgrading to it i recommend to purchase a helix mining head right off the bat it's worth it trust me and if you're renting it make sure you have enough time let's say whether you per you rent it for 24 hours make sure you have enough time in real life to be able to grind and make as much money within that 24 hours so my question to you is do you think mining is the most viable money maker right now in game let me know in the comments down below make sure to leave a like and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for future videos such as this i will see you on the next one